Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Alliance. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bint seen in Al Jelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. Is that got her to shut up? The entire Batarian hegemony is destroyed. Jeez. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <sighs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud, you were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in Turian colonies. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Uh, Please well, I won't, actually. I don't think that opens up until I get Garrus. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. You dislike the dream sequences? I can appreciate the artistic value that they add. But I also understand the dislike for them as well.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out.
I mean, they add stuff to every game that has nothing to do with the main story. Just the fact that the dream sequences don't have anything to do with the main story doesn't necessarily... And I mean, it does have to do with the main story. It has to do with the doubts that Shepard is developing throughout the entire game. But regardless, even if it didn't have anything to do with the story at all, uh, some of the best parts of the Mass Effect series have nothing to do with the main story. At least in my opinion. I know I t I'm in the in the minority with with stuff like that though. So, like I don't mind the dream sequences. I don't mind the kid at the end of the game. None of that stuff really bothers me. But I know it bothers some people. So. It's just one of those like. Well. I can't believe the council won't help. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Alright, let's go talk to Jerk. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see if they fix that spot on the floor over here. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. They fixed the floor! Oh, thank God. Ugh. You just would prefer it to all be understandable? Yeah, 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 no, I get that. What floor? The floor between Joker and where Edie eventually ends up is, uh, in the original tr trilogy, is a little bugged out. If you step behind... I'm talking to my viewers, shut up. Uh, sometimes you would walk behind Edie's chair and then it wouldn't let you go back the other way. I don't know if it's a trigger all the time or if it's only when she's there. So I'm gonna also have to test it again once she's there. Um, but. All right, email. Joker suggested Oh <laughs> Joker suggested a small welcoming gift would be appropriate now that you're reinstated as commanding officer the ship doesn't have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested so I had to go with a hooded jacket to wear during off duty hours He was going to get me strippers. Wow, she has a lot? Okay, hold on. I think I usually go with that one? Let's go with this one. I don't think I've ever chosen that one before. How thoughtful of him? I know, right? Oh, that looks weird. It's got like a monocle. I don't like that. I'm not sure I like the monocle. Let's go with this one. It's more of an understated outfit. Alright. Shepard was locked in that room for quite a while. I mean, you're not wrong. What are my casual options? 
What's the situation? What? Oh, okay. So I could go with my standard one that I did in Mass Effect 2, or I could go with a hoodie. I think I'll do that one. I liked that one. So a helmet gives me additional health. We'll go with the open face helmet. It'll come off during cutscenes and, and dialogue, so that's not a big deal. This gives me shield regen. Don't have any shoulders. I do have arms. Melee damage. I could I couldn't care less about melee damage. Pattern color. Tint one. Like a rich purple. I like that. Tint two. Where's that? That's there. Okay. There's pattern color. I guess that's closest to that one. Lights. Purple is just... I'm kind of torn between purple and pink. I think I'll go with purple for now. It's a little more muted. What? Purple? Well, I mean... Versus, like, that's brighter, and it's not really pink, it's kind of a, a violet. And this is less, this is like a very light purple, like a lavender. The other colors don't look good, like the greens or the blues. I'd go with black, that looks like it's just off. I oh, will go with that. Alright, uh, crew deck. Ashley Williams is on there. Richard Jenkins! Uh, Charles Presley, yeah. I'm thinking the rest of these are the people that had their dog tags in Mass Effect 2. Over there doing his homework. New Ascension. Wait, I didn't look for models in the other place. Let's go do that real quick. Uh, I did walk through that one. Aquas, how are you? Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. 
Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Where is he? I miss him. Don't tell Vaka she's not here, so... Don't tell her I care. <laughs> Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. No. Yeah. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Armor mod It was kit. less than ideal. Thou shot. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm flattered, I think. Ammo capacity or shield strength? 5% ammo capacity on a sniper rifle is nothing. That's half a shot. For for my sniper rifle, that's, that's half of one round. So I don't even think that would give me more ammo. 5% shields, however, could be like another... 40 or 50 hit points. Let's do that. With the council didn't go too well, huh? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. 
People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Protean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship, impressive, but it was never meant to be spaceworthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. You hiding any models in here? Monitor set up this suit. Enjoy your day. Do want. Sprinkle. Yeah, I got him. I love how he makes the exact same squeak from Mass Effect 2, so you immediately know who it is. Welcome back to the Normandy, or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? 
Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Nice. No ship models back here, huh? Bummer. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Commander. Nope. Good. I think there's like two or three in the shuttle bay too. I like how it's just model quarian. I'm like, it's a model of a quarian? I'm sure it's a live ship, but still. They could have called it live ship instead of quarian. That seems like a silly oversight. What the shit? KEI 9. Bad dog. <laughs> what is that? I've never seen that before. That's hilarious. Is that like a DLC or something I never got? Like one of the, uh... 
Maybe one of the appearance packs that I didn't buy? It's adorable that he just wanders around. Okay, that's super cute. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawk, oh. flying F-6. I love the Trident. Okay. So, you can fly? Yeah. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. I still think it would have been really cool if your shepherd, male or female, didn't romance either James or C Cortez if they, like, end up together at the end of Mass Effect 3. That would have been cool. I would have liked that. Casa Fabrications. I can't get to that section yet on the Citadel, so that's going to have to wait. Sniper Rifle, Spare Thermal Clip. Increases shot capacity by 50%. That's significant. We're gonna go ahead and buy that now. Spectre Rex, can't get anything. Okay. What is this? Concentration Mod. 
Increases damage by 5%, speeds up perception by 25%. I'm gonna go with that and ammo. Ah, okay. Alright, I didn't mean to get in your way there. Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Paladin. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> Just came down to talk. Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <clears throat> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. I like that the dog is just running around in the background. I have a dog. I have a dog. Oh, uh, is that new? Yeah, I, I, well, I never got it before. I don't know if it existed before, and I just didn't have the DLC for it. What's his name? K9. K-E-I-9. I'm gonna call him Robo Rex. Robo Rex, okay. Look at his little floppy tail. Serves, I love it. Serves no purpose. The tail raises morale? Everything about him raises morale. <laughs> uh, well, no, that's fine. But yeah, the tail specifically. But yeah, there was actually dialogue, because I walked up to him. I didn't have any choice about this. I walked up to him, and it gave me an option to talk to him. And so I did, and Shepard said, bad dog. <gasps> no! Bad Shepard. 
dick. But yeah, the, uh... But I mean, there was dialogue option for it, and they didn't record any new dialogue for the Legendary Edition, so I'm thinking it probably came with one of, like, the uh, alternate appearance DLC packs that I never purchased. Should have named it the way I named our car. Ted 2 Electric Boogaloo. Ted 2 Electric Boogaloo. No more emails. Okay, what are we doing? Clusters are already conquered by the Reapers, can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Okay, so... The only mission we have is the Turian Primarch, right? Missions. Uh, Shrike Abyssal. No, we have others. We have the N7 Cerberus Lab. Uh, Shrike Abyssal I don't think exists yet. I need to turn the music up. No, I think Shrike Abyssal's over here somewhere. Uh, options? Sound? Let's just do that. So I think part of some of the sound effects... No. That's just really quiet. Okay. Recover a Prothean artifact. There's still something there. Uh, Cerberus Lab. I guess we'll go recover that Prothean artifact real quick, wherever that is. Yeah, no, I know how I know how the pulse works. Oh, it's this. I got you. I found something. Prothean data files. Gotcha. Let's float over here real quick. Jeez. Calm down, Reapers. Remains of a, of a destroy- of a Reaper destroyer, not a destroyed Reaper. Those are different. It'd be nice if you could rotate the globe in Mass Effect 3 faster. Naval Exploration Flotilla. Uh, yeah, let's bounce. Evasion successful. All right, go go away. I have an on-screen prompt there. Spec Ops team. Get out of there. A lot of stuff in this area, man. The cruiser Shanghai. Faster 
evasion successful. Well, there's something else here. Reapers eluded. Well, of course it's right there. Faster than light jump successful. Goodness. Okay. Evasion successful. That's 100% in the entire cluster. There was a ton of stuff in Asgard. Jeez. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we do have stuff here for that. Confirm. Okay. And you... Get her some more accuracy out of it. There we go. I got 15 points now. She has six. Uh, let's go into pure biotic. Health and shield bonus. Recharge speed of all powers. Let's do that. Two points will go into stasis, I guess. James has got seven. Arms Master. Uh, I don't want him doing melee damage anyway, so that's a waste. One point. Can't do anything with that. Fifteen. Six and five is eleven, so I could max out fitness. Uh, increase melee damage. Don't even need it. Decrease shield recharge. Increase melee damage, increase weapon damage by 25% after killing something with heavy melee. Don't need that at all. Okay. Got four. I guess cryo ammo. Hmm. Probably ought to just save that. Okay. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports that Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, loco. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. <clears throat> no sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony. They came back after the Geth attack. 
They'll come back from this. They rebuilt Minduar. It wasn't the same. They'll never forget. All we can hope is that they grow stronger for it. Nice that I have 13 rounds instead of 9. That's... That's awesome, actually. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara. You ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. <laughs> James is a simple man. He just likes dinosaurs, man. Let him, let him like dinosaurs. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Well, I'm glad I got it then. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. That doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No, an original unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right, that doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little faster yes judging by the dig sites like the prothean archive on mars or here on eden prime the protheans wanted other species to learn it's clear that they prize knowledge growth and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy the way you describe them they sound a lot like the asari i'm certain i'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions whatever the protheans were finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity good thing we brought our prothean expert i hope i can help if this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! 